What's everybody? Welcome to Conway City's Arkansas Top 4. On the left, we have Nick Givens from Memphis, Tennessee. And on the right, we have Taylor Mitchell from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I think if you heard from Top 8, I said that 6 out of 8 people uh, in the Top 8 were from Memphis. And only 6 people from Memphis went to a, uh, the tournament, so that's pretty cool that all 6 of us made it. But uh, for those who don't know, Nick and Taylor are kind of stepbrother, stepsister, I guess. That's how you word it. You want to put it that way. This is kind of family uh, rivalry here, I guess, if you want to say so. Um, but Taylor has been playing for a really long time. Nick kind of just started last year. so. Uh, but if you see from the earlier videos, you know that Nick is playing uh, Evital Dustor. And that Taylor's playing Metal. If you know Taylor, that would not be a big surprise. She loves her metal decks. But let's see, Nick starts. It's an Evital, Hard Charm on the Evital, Ultra Ball discarding a Rare Candy and a DCE. Not two cards you really want to discard from the start. But I guess it's good that he does get a Dust Cloud turn one. Um, if you watch Nick's other videos, you you know I've talked about how Dustnor kind of helps out Evital just because these Evital Hard Charm decks aren't really doing that much damage. Um, so that's where the Dustnor kind of comes into place. You kind of manipulate the damage with the uh, Dust Dustnor. So we see a bike from Nick, and it doesn't seem like he got anything. It looks like he had a DC, another bike or something. I uh, couldn't really tell. Basically, cards he didn't need. It's what he got. And a spear tomb. So Taylor's debating: Do I play this in or not? We know that Nick didn't play a supporter, but I need Pokemans too. So we see Taylor does play the full art in. Uh, interesting note: Taylor does get the full art cards. I think they do kind of share cards, but uh, Taylor gets the full arts, not Nick. Sorry, Nick. Maybe next year. So let's see here. Uh, like I said, Taylor's playing metal, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> the Emoga, she kind of uses it just for call for family. It's first attack. Search your deck for two basic Pokemon, put them on your bench. Just a kind of quick way to get down. Bronzors or Dialgas. Cabalions. Whatever she needs. I'm sorry I keep yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. It's not even late in the day. We'll see what happens here kind of nice of Taylor to end Nick, but uh, if she didn't have anything, obviously her only choice was to end. I remember a time when Taylor hated an end and she played Caitlyn. Right then would have been a good time to Caitlyn. I think it was Caitlyn. Was it Caitlyn? What's the support of that? You put as many cards in your own body and your deck and draw that many cards. I think it's Caitlyn. I want to say it's that card. So, we ever see Taylor call for family. I guess Taylor likes the uh, remnants of the past. Uh, Call family was, I don't know, it, it seemed like a, a lot of old Pokemon used to have that uh, uh, attack, and a lot of people use them to set up. We would see Taylor get a Cabalion and a Bronzor. Now, Cabalion, let's see, is that the one where your opponent can't attack? I think it's the one it is. It's like Energy Crush and something else. Oh, but Nick gets a turn two rare candy dust nor very nice. There we see a, a dark energy and a, another heart charm going into the dark dark eye. Now we see Taylor I mean not Taylor. Nick play Juniper discarding a dark and a dark eye. Now he needs to get evil tall right now. Keldeo, not what he really needs. Wonder what I guess when uh I guess the Keldeo kinda help here. If uh Taylor uses uh, I can't remember Cabalion second attack. He can kind of nullify it with the. Sorry, that's what's going on. Kind of nullifies that play because you can just rush in and then retreat, which gets rid of the effect. This is pretty nice. So we see a Dialga and a Battle Compressor. Sorry, man, I messed up something up there earlier. I was kind of listening to what they were saying. Nick was pointing something to his Discord. But I don't know what he was looking at. But, uh. Here we see Taylor. Yeah, Battle Compressor. 
search your deck for three cards and discard them. So Taylor is going to discard two. Steel and Cabalion X. Uh, I guess Cabalion X is not really useful in this matchup. Uh, it's first attack is 30, and you discard special energy, and its second attack is 100. And it's not affected by, like, anything by effects, I guess. It looks like the Cabalion is actually, like, on field with the two energies. It's kind of funny. My Cabalion, the discard, is ready to attack. Alright, so let's see what. What does Taylor have? Does she have Bronzongs? There we see a Juniper. Discarding a Switch and a... Ooh, what's that other card? Escape Rope, maybe? Kind of hard to see from here. Kind of got purplish. Looks like Escape Rope. But like I said, she needs to get Bronzongs this turn. There we see an Ultra Ball. Uh, discarding a Steel Energy. And a... What's the next card? <coughs> And a laser. <laughs> I like how she discarded one with the Ultra Ball and threw the other discard. It's kind of nice that Pilea Taylor plays the lasers. Uh, Aegis, not Aegis Slash, Dialga EX has an attack that does 150, but with the Muscle Man does 170, but with a laser it helps you hit that 180 number, which is really, really nice. So we see a Muscle Man going to the Cabalion. There we see a uh, Metal Lynx attached return. And we're going to see a Righteous Edge for... I don't even know. I wouldn't be lying to you if I, knew, if I said I knew what it does. Here we see a second laser. So the Evitol is not asleep. I'm going to look up Cabalion real quick while we're sitting here. I know they didn't know the damage. Total everything. I know Taylor would know it. Let's see. Cabalion... Oops, that's nowhere near close to what I just touched on. Okay, but see, that's 50 total. So it did base 40. And then, uh. Did the laser, did plus 10. Now we see Dark Energy going to the Dark Ride. Let's see if I can pull up. Cabalion. Alright, here we go, I found it. So, energy press 20 plus 20 more damage for each energy attached to the Pokemon. So, last turn to 60, then minus 20 because of the muscle band, then plus 10 for poison. But Iron Breaker is what Taylor really uses the, the Cabalion for. It does 80, and the defending Pokemon can attack during your opponent's next turn. But, like I said, Nick kind of gets around that with the uh, Keldeo. Here we see an Ultra Ball from Nick. Discarding a Juniper, maybe, I don't know, I'm not really sure. Alright, so Juniper and uh, Dark Energy. Which is kind of nice, just uh, another way that uh, Nick can Oblivion Wing get energy on it. There we see it. Evil Tall. <clears throat> I feel like with the Keldeo, Nick should have a better matchup. Just because he can rush and retreat and spread the damage around with uh, Dusnor, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening. Taylor wasn't even paying attention. She was listening to the same story. I wonder what same story was at the time. Alright, but here we're seeing a blue wing for 30. And then on to Taylor's turn. Alright. So what does Taylor really need to get? Oh, I gotta find my time. I don't know if close this. Hopefully I can finish game four. I have to go to AutoZone. Uh, okay, so Taylor gets another Bronzong. I'm mad if she'll start Metal Leaks in here. Maybe I should call. You want to hear me call AutoZone? That was really funny. For those who, uh, well, nobody knows that my uh, car died, so I have to get a new battery. But here we see a double links from Taylor. Uh, okay. We'll close at 10 p.m. AutoZone staying open late. There we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, now this Taylor, she could just use actually Cabalion to knock it out this turn. No. If she uses second attack, it'll knock it out. But does she really want to commit another energy to that Cabalion? Because once she does, the Utah can knock it out. 
Sorry. My mommy texts me. Can I take my mommy back? Alright. So, Autozone closes at 10, guys, if you ever wanted to know. Gotta get a new battery. But, uh, let's see. What is Taylor gonna do here? She is debating right now. I don't think she's stacked because that even also has 60 damage on it. Nick is all fidgety. Nick, stop. He keeps touching everything. I'm not really sure what is going on right now. I think Taylor fell asleep. Okay, now she did it. She's doing some math or something. I think she's doing some uh, evil tall math with the uh, Dialga. Alright. So what's going to happen here? Looks like she has a DC in her hand. Maybe. I don't know. She has a max potion also, which could heal the 30 damage. I guess she also wants to figure out uh, all this damage, because Destinor does start messing things up, too. Okay, there's still... Deciding what to do. Oh wait. Okay, she attacked. Sorry, I missed it. Oh goodness, I'm bad, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, so we just see an energy press for 50 or 40, then 10 for poison, bringing it up to 50. Nick plays a chorus. It doesn't seem like I miss anything else. Taylor didn't play a supporter either that turn. Kind of bad. And now if Nick plays max push, that'd be really good right here. But uh, I don't think we see it. Now, if I was Nick, I would move that three damage counters, <clears throat> or spread around that uh, those damage counters, just because you don't want to hit it for ninety in the table play max potion or something. But we'll see what Nick wants to do here. So. I kind of wish Nick would keep all the damage on board. I hate when he takes knockouts kind of early. The reason why is because if uh, hmm, he can kind of like take multiple knocks out in one turn if he saves all the damage. I mean, Nick knows Taylor's deck, and Taylor's in Nick's deck. They, I mean, they live together, so they're going to know each other's deck. So uh, Taylor does play max potions and stuff. So uh, Taylor does play max potion, so she's gonna heal to be a uh, the big damage off too. But here we see Taylor uh, drop another Cabalion, Metal Links twice, twice. We'll see what else does she do for her turn. There we see a Mustang going to the Dialga. Maybe a DC come down? Oh wait, does there have there? There we see a max potion healing 30 off the Amolga. Now here's the scary thing. If Diaga X has 140 like I think it does. Ah, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If it has 170 like I think it does, all Nick needs is a... Uh, DC to knock out this Dialga. Question is, does he have a DC? I think he's already down two, though. He might die even more. He has a, a mighty big hand, too. So, But there we see just a dark energy. That's not what he needs. Uh, now, with Cabalion's first attack, or not Cabalion, Dialga's first attack, it makes it where uh, if the Infinity Pokemon is EX, you can't hurt it. So we see Nick Lyston of this Aegislash. See what else does he want to do? He could just Eva Ball here for 60, which it looks like that's the route he's going right now. 
Let me see another Eva toy. EX come into play. <coughs> and it's an Eva ball for 60. Now, can, can Taylor get another max potion? This question. Or a way to retreat this H class. I see a DC in her hand. But there we see a max potion. Sorry, Nick. No damage for you. Here we see a DCE. Which I think Age of Slash has a two retreat cost, if I remember correctly. I have, like I've said multiple times, I have not really played this uh, metal deck that much, so I don't know much, too much about it. But it doesn't matter what his retreat cost is. Taylor did get a switch, bringing up the Diaga, and Age of Slash. I mean, Diaga's probably just going to use his first attack to knock out this Evitol. I kinda If Taylor were to uh Medlinks before she had sent the Cabalion, she could have actually knocked out this Evatol this turn. But I guess she decides it's not worth worth it and just wants to use this first tech. So and just do eighty. Cause yeah, the Evatol doesn't have a hard charm, so the one seventy would have just straight knocked it out. There was an enhanced hammer from Nick discarding that DCE. Question is, what does Nick want to do? He needs to get a dark energy like Kill Dio is what he really needs to do. And once he can do that, he can get out of this uh, Dialga kind of lock. But now it's Nick's in the worst situation. If he sends up either Dark Eye and or the Evil Tall, they will get knocked out. But we'll see what Nick wants to do. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Maybe he he might not know what he's doing, and he could be just playing. That's what I do a lot. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing a Pokemon. I just kind of just play. But we'll see what happens. So, at this fresh loader, you do get to search your deck for two energy. Snake's just getting one. Uh, maybe either he has only one in his deck, or he just. I don't know. I don't know. There we see Shadow Circle. Taylor had to look at her book. There we see a Juniper from Nick. Maybe he just wanted the Dark Energy in the discard pile. Maybe he wants to Oblivion Wing this turn. Now, I see a heart charm in Nick's hand, which I imagine wants to go into that other evil tall. Or not. Here we see a retreat from Nick. I hope he puts the uh, heart charm on the evil tall this turn. Yeah. Oh, there we see an energy switch. Put on the new evil tall. And then we see a blue moon for 30. Now the scary thing is Taylor has an energy of license and she actually knock out the uh, bench evil tall. So Taylor just top took the adverse secret question is does she have a Lysander in her discard ball? Or does Taylor even want to do that play? Taylor might not want to do that play at all. So many decisions. So many. So many questions. We'll find that not tomorrow but today. On this episode of Team Fish Knuckles City Conway City's Arkansas Top Four. But Taylor's debating what should I do? Looks like she's just gonna treat it, send it in the Cabalion on it and tackle with it with it a turn with it with the Cabalion on this turn. Blah. Can't speak right now. What is going on here? Maybe Taylor has a third max potion. That would be real that'd be really annoying. Not really sure how many Taylor plays, but there we see a metal going to the Age of Slash. Now Age of Slash, I know that I know for sure what that card does. Forty plus twenty for each metal on the discard, or not on the discard on Age of Slash, but its ability makes it where if a Pokemon has a special energy on it, it can't hurt Age of Slash. So, it gets kind of annoying because uh, Evitol mainly relies on DCEs and stuff to do big gigantic attacks. But once you attach DC to the Evil Tall, you can't really hurt the H Slash. So we'll see what happens here. It looks like Taylor has a s uh, small deck right now. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't. <sighs> Either way, Taylor's going to get her first knockout this game, too. Which is going to be pretty nice. Here we see a Death Machine from Taylor. I imagine this gets a Max Potion. I wouldn't see why not. Just kind of heal that 60 from the uh, Dialga. But I could be wrong, she could be thinking of something else. But here's the uh, Dazz Machine is guarding a Skylight and a Bronze Zong. 
Yeah, so good old max potion. Get rid of the uh, damage on the on the Diaga. So we'll see what else. Uh, I know Taylor's going to. Uh, Oh, I just, we just had Cabalions. I just had Cabalions attack name on my phone. Now I don't know what it is anymore. No, I do not go away. Energy Press? I think this is called. Yeah, Energy Press. Look at me remember stuff. So there was the Energy Press knocking out the. Yeah, Evil Tall. So now we're tied up 5 to 5. So on the next turn, we see a DCE and a Megaphone discarding that Muscle Band. A Kabbalion does, does that have 130 or 120? It has 120. So Nick can one-shot it right now with Evo Ball. Uh, the only problem is when he does this, Taylor can respond with either the uh, Aegis Slash and uh, Aegis Slash or Diago. But we see there's a wide cyclone for 90. Uh, I guess Nick wants to keep damage on board. Makes a lot of sense with the Dust Nor. So... Now whoever Taylor attacks with, Nick kind of has the advantage to kill it just because he has 90 damage in play. And we see Taylor already played two max potions, so I'm not sure if she plays three. We see she's down her douse machine, so she can't reuse that. Maybe she plays like a trump card or something. That would make things kind of interesting. But we'll see what happens. Unless you decide to leave, then you will see what happens. I really think Taylor should buy Scissor in her deck just because she likes Scissor a lot. I don't know if it's not that good, but I mean, why not? I mean, fairy Pokemon, why not play it? But, uh, let's see. Still got a good minute to see what's going to happen. Uh, now, right now, 80. No, it's not a knockout. Uh, Taylor needs like an energy and a muscle band to knock out this Evitol right now on Nick's side. With Cabalions, uh, whatever its second attack does. I know it is 80 and then knocks it up. But here we see a Lysander bringing up the Dusnor, kind of making Nick forced to have a. Uh, oh, we might see actually. Taylor's gonna knock out this Dusnor. That's very nice. Now Nick has to work to actually do damage now. And there we go. Whatever Diago Sick Attack. I can't remember what it's called right now, but I know it does 150. Chrono Wind, maybe? Oh, I'm so bad right now. Why do I not know this stuff? Sorry, guys. I gotta I gotta play more Steel Decks. That's, that's my goal. Uh, this week and next week is to learn. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think there's any more Steel Decks to commentate over. But, uh, here we see Retreat from... Nicholas setting up the dark eye. Uh, the only bad thing is Nick doesn't have dust dust corner in play, so uh, it's gonna be very hard for Nick to get knockouts now. But here we're gonna see a night spirit do ninety and thirty to somebody. Where does the thirty go? Is the question. Hmm. So see at 90, it put 30 on the Cabalion, that's what I think he did. Yeah. So now got the Cabalion. Uh, now it's 4 to 4 in prizes. And let's see what happens now. Uh, let's see, if Taylor can get a way to retreat, and then, or if she just has a straight DC, that could work too. To knock out this Dark Eye. Question is, is it worth it? Because then t uh, Nick can respond with an evil tall. It's kind of a close game, even with the uh, dust dust nor being taken out. Nick kind of has a, an evil tall sitting there with three energies ready to go whenever. Here we see a DC going to the Diaga. I think we're gonna see its second attack to knock out the Darkrai. Here we see an Ultra Ball discarding two metals, maybe. Nick, show show us, show us Nick. So a metal and something I can't see what the other card is. To get another Dialga. Uh, also, Mumba does have free retreat, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. But 
dogs are barking for some reason. So, I want to say Asphyr Retreat. If not, I could be mistaken. But uh, here we see a double meddling going to this Diaga. Just uh, Taylor's getting ready to uh, attack again next turn once Nick knocks out her Diaga. So Taylor's running thin on cards right now. But it doesn't really matter that much because uh, Taylor's kind of in control right now. Even though it seems like well, it seems like both are in a good position. But I know Taylor's going to knock out this Dark Eye with her um, Diaga. And then uh, it'd be up to Taylor to respond with that Evital to knock out to knock out the Evital with the new Dialga. So So here we see Taylor knock out the Dark Rai. Or does it knock it out? Yeah, that's what I say. Like Nick, what's what's going on? It does one fifty, but then with the heart charm, it does minus twenty to one thirty, and uh, it already had sixty on it, so it does one ninety total. Now Nick needs to get, oh, he needs to end Taylor right now. Why would you attach energy there? Why would you not load it? But I kind of wish Nick would attach the energy onto the bent, the active, Evital, just so you have way more energies on the active Evital. Uh, there's nothing on Taylor's side that kind of like. Uh, penalize you for loading up one big evil tall. Yeah, look, I kind of wish he would attach to the active evil tall just so next turn if he gets like a license or DC, he can kind of win that way. So let's see. Because right now I have four energies. So five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, and next turn if he got like a DC, a license, and knock out the uh, Diaga. But we'll see what happens. He can also get like a. Uh, an energy switch DC Lysander. We ever see a Y Cyclone? Oh, huh, that's really interesting. Here we see Taylor sitting in a Molga. Question is, does Taylor have a muscle band? If she has a muscle band, she basically wins. Because if she has a muscle band, she can metal links twice to the Diaga EX and then attach the muscle band and do 170. Here we see a Verse Seeker for the Skyla to get the muscle band. Next, just double check and see if there's a Skyla in there. I don't know what's going on right now. I think Nick was just in denial. But like I said, Amoga does have free retreat. And here we see a. Uh, whatever Diaga EX's second attack is for 170. So, close game! Uh, I guess the end, it didn't really matter what Nick had to do with the energies. Taylor did have the uh, way to get a muscle band. So Taylor wins game one. Now the old game shuffle up for game two. I'm trying to think how Nick can win. Nick probably just needs to load up like a giant evil tall and just try to like a giant evil tall in with a hard charm and try to one shot the uh Cabal not Cabalion. The eight uh oh, yeah, Cabalion X. Oh what Cabalion? What am I talking about? Dialga yet. Sorry, guys. I'm all, all over the place right now. All right. But uh, hopefully, Nick did get a turn to Dustin, which is well, oh, really nice. But. Taylor did eventually license her up and knock it out. She says, you're not going to use this Death Snore anymore this game to manipulate the damage. Which would be kind of nice because that 90 damage from the uh, Cabalion probably would have mattered. It probably would have mattered a lot. But we'll see what happens. So we see a Nick Mulligan. Did Nick went first game one also. Okay, so you didn't have the uh, disadvantage of going second either, so... Well, I feel like it was an even, even game. Both players kind of had supporters when they needed it. Both players had energies and stuff. Taylor was kind of supporterless just a little bit. Oh, Nick was definitely... Okay, Nick was supported drive turn one and Taylor did end him. But that doesn't really matter because Taylor didn't have anything either. So, yeah, but that was, it was pretty fair game. Let me see Nick start with the Duskull. 
Oh man, we might see a dust go past. Dust go past. Nah, I mean, we're going to see it either way. Oh, <laughs> but that would. <laughs> everybody knows what I'm talking about. Uh, what, Nationals two years ago? It was a dust goal and. Ryan could have dust gold and pass, and that's what everybody's cheering for to see what happened, but Ryan didn't do it. Just like here, Nick, you didn't dust gold pass. What are you doing? But, um, because <clears throat> if Taylor were to get, like, a, uh, your Bally on the X energy must have been, she could knock out this dust gold turn one. If she had everything like that, that would be a lot of cards to get turn one. But it's not too hard. I've seen it happen. Plenty full time. Taylor just played, I'm pretty sure, four ultra balls and probably three to four muscle bands. Uh, probably two switches, so her options were, are pretty good doing that route. Here we see a Dark Energy going to the Dust Goal. And then a bike. Two. Uh, I saw, I see a Colrus in Nick's hand. Does he have it in or something? He's debating something. Here we see an in from Nick. Uh, so Nick needs to get some more Pokemon down. Probably another Evil Tall EX. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think. I mean, I mean, there's nothing really thing but to see what their hands get. <laughs> uh, so, how do y'all cities go? Do I do good? Currently, right now, I have two, two first and. Two seconds in my points. Is that right? Sounds right. But dang, it gives it Evital, Spear Tomb, Shadow Circle, and we just get a pass. Alright, so on a Taylor's turn, we see him get, get see him, see her get a uh, Diaga EX. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a Skyla, and it's a Rosic. We didn't see that going game one, but it does come out game two. It's kind of nice for Taylor to get the Skyline, the Discard one, because she does play probably four versus Seeker, maybe three. Or maybe I totally wrong, she could only play two. Oh, Dragonite fell over somehow. It's funny, what the heck? Somebody saved the Dragonite. What's going on here? It fell over. It's might save him. Or her, him, her. It could be either one. We see Taylor getting a Moga. Now, if Taylor has like a switch in middle, that'd be, oh my goodness, that'd be really nice. Switch a Moga Battle Compressor. Oh, that's what we need to see here. That would, oh my goodness, she would have the most brutal cards. Here we see a uh, Metal uh, Juniper. Looks like she discarded the uh, Bronzong. Is there anything else? Maybe not. I thought I saw a Dice Machine. I could be crazy. Probably am crazy. It's okay. Here we see a Laser. Uh, Taylor Flip. -flip. So we see heads from the Hypnotizer's laser. Uh, Hypnotizer's laser, flip a coin. If heads, the opponent is sleep and poison. If tails, it is just poisoned. But here we see heads from Nick waking the Evital back up. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the only bad thing is Taylor couldn't retreat her Aegis Slash to use the call from family. But that's okay because it doesn't seem like Nick has anything really right now. He, did, he does have an Evital, so he can start. Power that up with Oblivion Wing, which we just see that right there. Just an Oblivion Wing 30. I guess Taylor's forcing Nick to put the damage counters on there. See, you gotta work, Nick. You want that damage to be on there. Here we see it must have been going to the uh, Cabalion X. Why do I keep saying Cabalion? The Alga X. Sorry, I'm so used to Taylor playing Cabalion. Here we see a coalition from Taylor. She's going to hold seven cards. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's like playing a Juniper where they have to discard your resources. Yeah, if I do say so myself. myself. Alright, so what does Taylor need? She gets to need a Bronzong and then probably another Bronzong. She'll be A OK. Let's see, two DCs. And can't tell what else. I tried. I tried my hardest. Here we see DC go to the uh, Dialga. A switch from Taylor Boo. Black and white switch. What happened to our other switches? And we're probably going to see Call Family again. A Cabalion and probably another Bronzor. Yep, another Bronzor. 
Getting her little bronzong armies ready to go. Sorry, my luggage there. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Alright, so let's see what happens with Nick. Can he get a dust now? That's, that's always the question. Here's the energy. Oh, the evil tall. Professor Letter. Get one dark energy. Both games that <laughs> Nick has used. Professor Letter to get one dark energy. Interesting tidbit. They receive a megaphone discarding Taylor's muscle band. And they receive a Juniper discarding an evil tall. Keldeo in the end. Kind of stinks that he had to discard the Keldeo. I feel like that's your best resource against Cabalion's second attack and, and uh, Diago's first attack. Here we see a Dark Ride, giving everybody a free retreat. Everybody gets free retreat. Looks at Taylor. There we see a Hard Charm onto the Evil Tall to prevent 20 damage. And we'll probably see an Evil Ball here for a knockout. So Nick takes the first prize, so just like in game one. Looks on game one, that obviously didn't help him win. But we'll see what happens this game. Maybe this game is different. Here we see a metal going into the Dialga. And like I said, this is going to be kind of bad because now Nick is kind of forced to, uh, there we see a Max Buster too. But Nick is kind of forced to re have to retreat every turn to attack. Sorry, I was listening to myself talk. For those, uh, for those who don't know, nobody knows. But uh, right beside Nick and Taylor is me and Sam Liggett in top four. So all right, so we see an end from Taylor getting her six cards, getting Nick five cards, and I imagine we'll just see Diago's first tech. Uh, how much does that do? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out Zach Bates damage because Muscle Band gets canceled out. By the heart charm. They we see an ultra ball. And there's a dust machine that we. Uh, that I thought I saw earlier, but we see now. So the ultra ball, the dust machine away. And she gets a bronze zong. She can move our metal Lincolns now. Who does she metal into? to? Probably Cabalion. Yeah, Cabalion. Second attack is just way too good, especially since Nick did discard his Kodio, like I said. So. Never see 60. So I guess it's base 60. Uh, never see a Lysander from Nick. Just kind of forced Taylor to have a retreat. And it's in the Evil Tall. And probably just do 30 here, putting a dark energy onto the uh, dark eye EX. Yeah, that's exactly what we see here. Now, on this Taylor turn, does she have a DC or a switch? Here we see uh, Metal Links going to the uh, Cabalion. And we just see a pass. So, not what, not what Taylor really wants. <sighs> Nick's probably cheering. Saying, heck yeah, that's what I like to see. A little pass there. Now, scary thing, if Nick texts again, maybe Taylor will slim down our max potions and heal the 60 off. But we'd see another 30 from Nick. I don't think he has any dark in his cards. Maybe Nick has an in or something and just want to play to give Taylor new cards. Maybe he doesn't have some border. I don't know. It's always hard to tell what's really going on. But here we see a verse seeker from Taylor. The question is, what support does she want to get? Imagine she wants to get the chorus. I would not see why not. Yeah, so we see a chorus getting the whole 10 cards. Very nice. That is the uh, max way to get cards right now. Well, I lie. I, oh, don't. Y'all don't try to get me. Yeah, I guess you can be funny and get, use Caitlyn or Getzus to get a hand more cards than 10. So sorry about that. Almost a lot. Ooh, that's a good question. What, what cards, what, which card can draw you more cards? Caitlyn and or Getzus. Hmm. I'm gonna say Getzus. 
I think Geth get this gets the most cards. I can see Geth is getting you 58 cards. It's the max. So yeah. Sorry about that, I've been trying to ramble on. But let's see, the Taylor get a switch. It doesn't seem like we'll see an energy. Oh, there we go, there's a switch. See, why don't she play black and white switch and then that switch? What switch is that? I don't know. Can't tell right now. But here we see a, uh, oh, second attack, 80. Nah, who knows what it's called anymore? Nah, I forget already. Iron Breaker. There we go. I remembered. Alright. Just kidding, I didn't remember. I, I looked it up again. <laughs> but let's see, does Nick get a dust out this turn? It'd be really good if he does. But, um, doesn't seem like it. Here's the energy switch. And an end for Vic. Now, if Nick does get a Dust Snore, he can kind of put one damage counter on each one of Taylor's Pokemon. Maybe, I don't know, maybe put three. And there's two things to be scared about, scared about with Nick, is uh, Taylor can either get a Max Potion to heal the 60 off, or she can get a Lysen to kill the Dust Snore. So, I don't know, both both situations are questionable, but it doesn't seem like Nick even got, it did he, even, he didn't even get a Dust Snore right now, so it's kind of bad. We were seeing 90 and putting 30 on the uh, Diago EX. Once again, Taylor's making Nick work for those damage counters, making him put them on himself. Nick, that next time it happens to you, just put just put a ton of damage on there. But like, alright, it does 115, it does 80 to the bench. And to see if she catches you or not. Who cares if we cheat? <laughs> just kidding. Cheating is bad. Don't do it, kids. Alright, so on to Taylor's turn, what is she going to do here? Now, if she has a laser, oh my goodness, if she has a laser, she can one-shot this dark eye. Question is, does she have the laser? Here we see Retreat, the Cabalion, Sundo, Big Bad, Diaga, X. Taylor, get the card situated, there we go. Laser, laser, oh, Max Potion, very nice. She still can Metal Links, too. There we see a Muscle Band. Jupiter discarding two ends and something else. Taylor really needs his laser. Does she get it? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, I see a purple border card. Is that it? Boom. There's a laser. Bye bye, Dark Eye. Nice knowing you. Now, the thing is, oh, let's see. She's going to discard two cards and leave it 24. Uh. Now, if Nick can get. Uh, Taylor hasn't attacked yet. She's meddling soon. But if Taylor, if Nick can get a DC, he can actually knock out this Aegis or this Dialga. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Yeah. But once that happens, I don't know what Nick's best plan of action is. He already discarded the Evil Tall earlier, and he's down both his Dark Eyes, so he only has like one Evil Tall EX probably left in his deck. The early Juniper kind of hurt him because he got rid of a Keldeo and a Evil Tall. It might have been kind of bad decision to drop the Spirit Tomb and the, the Evil Tall. I don't know. Oh, maybe he plays three Dark Art. Maybe he only discarded one. I heard Sam Whistle. And every time Sam Whistle, that means he got something good. But here's an Ultra Ball discarding a Evil Tall and. What's the other card? Kids, show me money, Juniper. All right. So what does Nick get? Does he have a Dust Snow Rick Candy? That'd be really nice. But we just get Dust Clops. I know it's hard to tell, but that is what it is. It is a Dust Snow's middle stage, stage one or stage two, whatever. However it's worded, I can't remember how it's worded. Here we see a bicycle. So Nick has the other Evil Tall two in his hand. Question is, what does Nick want to do after this? So here we see an evil ball putting 20, 40, 60, 100, bring it up to 130. <coughs> uh, here's the perfect time for a max potion right here. I feel it in my bones. Taylor has it. She has to have it. Good run though. She might not have it. But I just feel like she does. Here we see a metal link stick to Balion. Dr. Balion can iron break her now. Let me see a license to bring another dust cloth. 
Doesn't even give Nick a chance to evolve. Ooh. Oh man, I feel Max Potion. Oh, I feel it. There's no Taylor. She is. Oh, maybe not. Maybe my line, she doesn't have it. <sighs> Don't do it to me, Taylor. Oh, she might. I guess she doesn't have it. So we're seeing Metal Injury going to the Cabalion or Diaga. They were seeing Metal Lynx. And we're seeing Iron Barrier to knock out those Death Claws. <clears throat> and be up. Oh, uh, one prize? Yeah. So, three to five. Uh, now on to Nick's turn. Uh, now Nick has a life center to knock out the to Diaga EX on the bench. He'll be in a good position. He has a uh, an Evil Tall X in his hand. I kind of wish he would be powering that up. We see him discard the Evil Tall. Oh no, I think he's out of Evil Talls now after this. I don't know if I like that decision at all. <laughs> well, Nick is the one playing the deck, not me. He knows. I guess he probably knows what he's doing more than I do. Just feel like Nick's out of attackers now for sure. For sure, for sure. Well, I mean, he has the Dark Eye and the uh, Evil Tall right now. But that Evil Tall for sure is going to get knocked out if uh, Nick doesn't have a Lysander here. We'll see what happens. Doesn't seem like he does. It seems like he has a uh, Juniper in his hand. It does it does knock it out. There we go. So knock out. Imagine Taylor here sends up the Emolga. It does have free retreat. So on a Taylor's turn. Now if Nick was able to get a dust around that turn, it'd be really nice just because you'd have 190 damage to play around with. And basically kind of secure him the game. But sadly we don't see that happening. So in uh, Taylor's turn, I imagine she just swings with uh, Diaga EX this turn. And like I said, for some reason, Nick decided to discard his Evil Tall. Uh, and if he did it, he can actually just attach energy to the Evil Tall last turn, and then Nick this turn attach another Dark Energy to actually knock out the uh, Diaga EX. That's supposed to come up and knock him out. If that's what Taylor decides to do, I could be wrong. She could be doing a different play. But I feel like it's the best route for both of them. Here we see a Skyla from Taylor. Uh, maybe she's digging for a max potion. And if this happens and Taylor is able to power up. Wait. We're seeing in from Taylor. Maybe she's getting ready to. End. Nick next turn. See, Taylor has like five cards left. Maybe say my links to the uh, Diaga X. See a uh, attack into the bronze zone. Not bronze zone. Ada slash. And we're going to see its second attack do 130, 150, maybe 170. Did they have a hard charm? Couldn't tell. Oh, 150 because it did have a hard charm. But let's see. Nick gets a chorus. Let's see here. Kind of seems like Nick's out of it right now. Looks like he's uh doesn't have that much of a shot. Taylor has one prize card left. All she has to do next turn is last center and win. We see Dark Energy in, in Nick's hand. Like I said, if he were if he did bench the Evatol, he could actually attack with Evatol to knock out the uh, Diaga this turn and kind of be in a good board position because then Taylor doesn't really have an attacker except the Age Slash. And the only way Taylor can attack with Age Slash is put a bunch of energies on it and knock him out. Well, let's see. Taylor has one prize card left. Um, it'd be kind of bad if he retreats to anything. Oh, so he does retreat. Just because now if Taylor has a switch. And. No, if he, she has a switch. She just switched to Emolga and, and double Metal Links and wins the game. Question is, does she have all this stuff? Or she could attack with Age Slash. Let's we'll see. Age Slash could do 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. They can only do max 140 this turn. But here we see a verse seeker for the ages uh for the license bring up evil tall and we see Taylor does two oh Nick with her uh metal deck. So Taylor does advance to the finals of Conway City, Arkansas. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the videos. Hope Dustner kinda made you hope hope Dustner kinda made some people somewhat happy. I know Mia might be happy to see it being played uh, in an evil tall deck. 
because that is her world's uh, her world's deck list that she uh, did good with or not her world's deck but what she did good with her world's with but uh, thanks for watching like the video subscribe leave comments down below let me know if I messed up on anything um, and hopefully see y'all at St. Louis Regionals maybe Florida Regionals maybe Florida Regionals it's going to be a, it's a big maybe but alrighty have a great day alrighty bye